Okay, so I'm gonna cut this cabbage. I think I'm just gonna do like a stewed cabbage, which should be good. I'm gonna do a steamed broccoli, so there's two brassicas, but that'll be all right. Should still be pretty tasty. Uh, and we're going to do uh, some roasted, I've got some apples that are already cut, along with some kaboka pumpkin slash squash, depending on kind of what you want to call it. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna stew these with. I kind of want to do some beans. So I'm gonna go and wash these off. And then I'll go ahead and uh, check to see if the oven's hot enough to roast this squash and these apples. We're going to get a nice amount of color on this garlic. To be honest, I'm being pretty uh, lackadaisical today. So I just took some uh, some fermented onions that went for a little over a week. Um, and I uh, like put them through the food processor. I picked some thyme, which I've actually been doing this thing because my garden's kind of wintered, wintered over. Uh, but I've been buying the poultry mix. It's mostly thyme, a little bit of sage, which take it or leave it, and some rosemary. I'm still not willing to buy chives at a grocery store. So this garlic is starting to turn nice and golden brown. I'm going to turn it down quite a bit. I think I'm going to do some red miso. So we'll see what it's like fried. I kind of want to use it almost like tomato paste on this though. See how that goes. I can use a fair amount of it. It's high in protein. Obviously it's extremely high in salt as well. Let's let that go for a minute, get a little color on it. I wonder if a nut butter would be good with this too. I'm curious how this is going to work out. It's about three cups of water, half a cup, probably half a cup of miso, head and half a cabbage. I'm going to drain these, but I'm not going to rinse them. And now here we go. It's pretty crazy. It's like I didn't even think about how much it would make it better. It does let me be a little more monotone. Olive oil. Some apples. And some kaboka squash. It's like I gotta brace myself for the panic attack, get in there, take a few deep breaths. Just kind of lay on the ground for a second. Look at all the spider webs. I gotta go in with like a really big stick so I can knock down all the spider webs by like poking it. I need to make rice, that's right. Uh, Alex Jones or Johnny Depp? Alex Jones is just a crazy person. He says crazy things. That's most of it. I'm sorry that uh, it's really unfortunate that those people got caught up in it. And he is now uh, pretty fucked financially. And it's like, well, you know, that's what happens. It's the system working, you know? And so I'm happy about that. It's most of my take. Chili pepper flake. And a cinnamon stick. Nice. It's 15 minutes for the rice, yeah? Oh, shit. 
think I'm kind of chilling now. Johnny Depp thing. Uh, I just think it's sad. I think it was a tremendously toxic relationship. Very obviously. I think that they are, you know, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that it was so public. It's unfortunate that, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it is the inevitable, uh, exposure of celebrity, right? The inevitable conclusion of celebrity is the degradation of the celebrity. And, uh, what I mean is, like, um, them, them being dragged through the mud for their faults. I think they were both very flawed people. Hey, what's up? How you doing? So I'm putting peppers into the steamer. I, tra I, con I consolidated the uh, broccoli to one of the trays, and now I'm doing some, like, whole peppers on this. I just think some steamed sweet peppers would be really nice with the same mayo. And they'll look nice together in a basket. a little bit of color. I'm going to give them a little toss and put them back on there. I don't want them to stick too bad. Okay, so I'm going to cut this off because now our veggies are all nice. They are all very nicely colored. And like I said, I'm going to pull some of these out in order to give to the kid. And then the rest I'm going to toss in a little bit. The apples are holding together really nicely, which makes me happy because sometimes they kind of break apart. What's going on? She's coming to say hi. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just a regular fucking Tuesday, right? Next thing you know. Next thing you know. Let's go ahead and give it a quick little taster tester. Hmm. It's um very simple, right? I think I can really taste the garbanzo, but I actually really like that. I think I am going to, I'm gonna add a little bit of almond butter and I think that's gonna be fantastic. So again, this dish is, took some garlic first, chopped it up, cooked it with some olive oil. I hit it with some red miso and I fried the red miso for a little bit, but it browned really quickly. So not for super long. Uh, this is almond butter and I just added like probably a tablespoon and a half. Yeah, it's gonna be really, really fucking good. Holy cow. Got like a half a cup or so of miso. Uh, toasted it almost like a tomato paste. Added some water, added the cabbage, and added a can of uh, garbanzo beans. Drained but not rinsed. Uh, so yeah, it's just red miso is really the most of the flavor and the garbanzos and the cabbage. And you can really taste the garbanzos like. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. It's so simple. It's super flavorful. Yay! Okay, is the water boiling yet? Yes, it is. It kind of smells like a horse pen. Which I know is a weird thing to say, but that is kind of what it smells like. Take this off, put this on a plate over here. Again, this is not a tool I've used before, so I'm still working it out. Oh, looks like a nice steamed broccoli. And here's the dipping sauce for the steamed broccoli. Which, let me see, I'm going to take, I'm just going to take a little bit of this root and see how it is. It'll be this trunk. Mm. Oh yeah, bud. Mm. Fermented onions, some thyme, some cream cheese, a little bit of mayo. Over here we got some steamed broccoli and green onions. And I'm about to pull off some steamed whole sweet peppers. They're delicious, absolutely delicious. And over here we got some apples. Uh, they were just roasted with some kabocha squash and onions all roasted together and tossed with a little bit of togarashi. Uh, and then over there we've got... And then obviously we're gonna have brown rice here in just a second. Some little baby peppers. Which I'm just gonna go doot, drop them around. Very hot. All right, we're about ready. Soup's up. 